Hey, in today's message, we're going to be talking about the need for being perfect and how what I'm specifically talking about here is this this need, which is unconscious, if you haven't figured that out already, to need, need to be perfect, like perfectly healed. And, and we're perfectly healed. The way we show up, it's got to be perfect. Everything we do, it has to be perfect, especially when it relates to the healing side of things. That's really what I'm going to be talking to. But this also goes to every fucking area of our life, because as in one area, in all areas, and this need to be perfect and how my own story that I'm going to share talks about this need for feeling to be perfect and how I'm working with other people and they have this need to, this unconscious need and what's really underneath that that is creating this this belief that we have to be perfect, that we have to be perfectly healed and what that is and what to do to move through it and release that ditch. All right, don't go nowhere, I'll be right back. Welcome back, you awesome fucking weirdos. It's Tony Fonte. How you doing? I help you reignite the four Ps, your passion, your power, your purpose, and your belief on this to create a deeper connection in your life and your relationships. Boom. What's happening? All right. So we're going to be diving into this, this need to be perfect, this, 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 this desire and this belief that we have to be perfect in order to be in a healthy relationship, to, to be with our partner, to, to have the life that we want. Everything has to be perfect. So we sit back and just continually to work on things, but we don't show up. We fail to show up. And I want to share my own story because there's actually multiple layers of this, but I'm just going to share the, the synopsis of the different layers that keep showing up when I go, fuck, I thought I already dealt with that. Fuck, I already dealt, thought I dealt with that. Because it's layers. It's an onion and we fucking peel the shit back constantly going through until we actually follow through and move through and push through these things. And it was this need that I had to be perfectly healed. And I'm going to talk about in relationships that I had to be perfectly healed, that I had to heal my insecurities completely, that I had to heal all my wounds completely in order to be in a healthy relationship, in order for my partner, for her to accept me, to feel loved. But that also played out and I'm like, everything's got to be perfect. I got to have everything designed. I got to have all the, you know, my videos and my lessons and even these videos, right? They have to be perfect. They have to be perfect because fuck, what if they're not, I'm going to be rejected. I'm going to be abandoned, but we're, what's really going on here? And I'm going to share this with you and it's fucking deep, but yet it's so simple at the same fucking time. It has everything to do with feeling good enough. I have to be perfect in order to feel good enough. But here's the fucking problem. Here's where it falls short. We're never good enough. We never feel good enough. And we're always raising the bar. Well, once I hit this level of healing, then I'll be good enough. But then we then we get to that point, then we fucking move it again. And we keep moving. And, and it keeps getting further and further. The closer we get to the thing, to, to the having the thing or the experience of the partner, the relationship, it's never good enough. It's never good enough because we don't fucking feel good enough on the inside and we're constantly trying to prove ourselves in order to feel good enough. But we never get there and we become this perpetual cycle of fucking frustration and overwhelm. Thinking that we have to have this be completely healed, completely healed in order to receive love in order to have a healthy relationship, in order to have the fucking life that we want, to have the abundance of money that we want. We have to be completely healed. We can't have shit. We can't have any shadow, which you'll never get there. As long as we're having this human experience, there's always going to be something to heal. There's always going to be something that's going to come up. There's always going to be an insecurity. There's always going to be doubts and worries and anxiety, however that looks for you. Always. The key is to not give those things fucking ownership over you giving your power away to those fucking things knowing that they're there embracing those things 
being okay with it, being able to communicate with your partner, being able to accept it as you're moving forward, that you're going to have these things at each level, as my coaches tell me, each level you move to, no ma- I mean, each level, it doesn't matter if you're fucking, you, you're doing well in business or your life or your relationship, each level you move to, you're going to face these things over and over and over again. They're going to come up. The insecurity is going to come up, not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy enough of being able to, to help somebody, as in my case. Is this good enough? Realizing that when I do the thing, it's not imperfect, but I'm taking action, light action, it actually builds the confidence up within me. And then I share the struggle of it, which I have in my challenges, in my groups, in my masterminds. I share it because people want fucking realness anyway. And any guru or any person or coach or spiritual trainer or mentor guy that says they have it all figured out, they're fucking full of shit. And they're struggling with this very thing. And they're trying to verbally say that they have it all figured out and they're going to help you because they don't feel good enough. But they feel that they have to say those things, that they have to have it all figured out in order to be able to coach somebody, to be able to be in that realm with people, to be able to keep the things once they get it. That's another thing. I have to be completely healed in order to keep the healthy fucking relationship. In order to continue receiving love from my partner, I have to be fucking completely healed. And that actually pushes them fucking further away. Or we push them away in some way. Because we're afraid of fucking losing them in the first place. We're afraid of losing the, the business, the career, the clients, the life. So we push it away. I'm not good enough yet. Then if I get it now, I'm going to lose it. So then we push it away. And we keep fighting to heal, to be completely fucking healed. This is how I got stuck in this perpetual loop of the dark night of the soul. And this healing cycle, constantly trying to heal. Healing it and then finding something new to heal. Addicted to healing. I was fucking addicted to healing. And then I'm frustrated on why I'm not having where, where I want to be. Why I'm not having the life that I want, the relationships that I want. Why the, the finances that I want, my, my, why, why is not what I've been dreaming and what I've been feeling is there? Why am I not experiencing it? Because I wasn't allowing myself to experience it fully. And being scared out of my goddamn mind when I did start having some of that. Fuck. I don't measure up. They're going to fucking reject me anyway. I need to fucking leave. And we step back. We stop being consistent. We stop showing up. We stop leading ourselves. We stop listening to the feminine and then leading in the masculine. As we do with in, in, in us, all of us have these energies. And we struggle. Because we feel we have to be perfect. We have to be healed enough. Especially if you're a learning to be a, a, you're recovering from being a perfectionist. This is where this comes from too. You can't have any, any ridicule back. You can't have anybody throw judgment at you or not like your stuff, like your videos. Man, you know how hard it was been for to share some of these videos and you may not even know that. I'm like, but you sound like you're, you've been doing this for a while. And I have, I've had periods of this. But even now, I still have these moments of fears of fuck, will people like it? Will people people come at me on some of the things that I share? Because I didn't feel good enough on the inside, so it's triggering those things and worrying about what people think, about what I have to say, how I'm showing up, how I'm living my life, and it doesn't fucking matter. And you don't have to be perfect at it because the shit's going to come up. Each layer you move to, each level you move to. But you can say, fuck them, fuck that. They're projecting their own shit anyway, has nothing to do with me. And anything that does come and does trigger you, that was another thing. I was like, I don't want to be fucking triggered. I don't want to be fucking triggered because I don't want to feel that because then I'm going to feel that I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy enough. I'm not deserving enough. And what if I feel that and it actually keeps me from moving forward? Versus fucking feeling it, speaking it, communicating it, and doing it anyway. 
That's, that's the key, is feeling it and doing it anyway. And allowing the evidence of the opposite to prove to you, oh shit, I am good enough. Like on my first conscious connection challenge, I was worried, fuck, is the, is the lessons going to be good enough? Is it going to be good enough? Am I going to show up powerfully enough? Uh, is it going to help people? I was taking responsibility for everybody else. all oh, this is healing, which they got to do their own healing, but I just need to show up. And I got reminded and I started laughing at myself going, fuck it, I doubted myself. And it was fucking powerful. Even on a three-week free challenge, it was fucking powerful because I deliver. These videos, I, I, I aim to deliver and letting go of the idea of someone's going to fucking like it because it doesn't fucking matter. I'm going to be me and I'm going to accept that, that I'm going to have these insecurities come up, that I'm going to have these doubts and these lack of confidence. And my partner's going to be there anyway. And if she does reject, it still has nothing to do. It has everything to do with them, not you, not me. People are going to, to push back on you because they have their own fucking beliefs. Share anyway. Doesn't matter what they fucking think. Does that mean you can't feel the trigger when it comes up? Say, I don't give a fuck what they think. And then you feel the, well, I do give a fuck what they think. You can feel it all and still keep continuing moving forward. Move through it. Feel through it. I can go on and on, but I'll just be rambling at this point. I think I got to the point of the message here is this contradiction. And if you'd like help in this area, before I even do that, I want to hear from you. What stood out to you? What resonated with you? What gave you, oh, I've been doing that. That's why I've been doing that. I'd fucking love to hear from you. Leave a comment, send me an email, whatever it is. I want to hear from you because that's what lights me up. Knowing that I'm sharing this to give you the fucking value. You don't have to be fucking perfect. You don't have to be perfectly healed in order to have the love that you, that you desire, that you crave, to have the healthy relationship. You don't have to be fucking perfectly healed, completely healed. You're not going to be, it's impossible, and you'll prevent yourself from having that very thing. You don't have to be completely healed to have the money, to life, the experiences, the lifestyle that you desire. And it doesn't matter what anybody else fucking thinks, if that's what you fucking want, you go for it. You deserve it. The healthy relationship, you deserve it. And the relationship's going to help you evolve and grow and heal more anyway. You can only do so much healing by sitting on the sidelines, behind the stage. And at some point, you got to step on the fucking stage, as I was told many times, and finally I was fucking kicked by my guides to say, you're fucking doing this now. And I did it. And there's been breakdowns and it's been fucking scary. But what I want is worth more than the fucking fear of being faced to being on the stage. What I found out is as that we start taking these actions towards what we want and who we're becoming. As you do those things, you build the confidence within you, which reignites those four Ps even more, the passion, the power, the purpose, and the playfulness, allowing you to become more free and which allows more playfulness and you're able to have more fun and you're not reacting to other people's bullshit. As we see the fucking world on fire right now because everybody else is trying to get everybody else outside of them to change, to adapt so they can feel fucking better feeling, instead of dealing with their shit and, and, and know that as you're doing your own work, you don't fucking give a fuck what people think and you have more peace because you're fucking living. You are being. Does it mean you're fucking healed? No. You just don't react to it that much. You just let go of so much shame and guilt more that you just fucking laugh at it. And when someone does come at you, try to drag you down and, and project their own bullshit on you, you can fucking laugh at that too. You learn to laugh at it more. And if you do trigger it, well, you feel through it and you fucking laugh at it then. I laugh at sometimes when I get my trigger. And this is the whole part of laughing through life and my unique gift of being able to help teach people how to fucking laugh through the whole journey. And you want help with this? You want to learn how to have more fun and be able to laugh through the fucking shit and healing doesn't have to be so goddamn heavy? Then let's fucking work together. Whether it's free, whether it's something on your own, or, or, or we're working together and building this community and being a part of a community that's doing it, let's fucking do this. I'll have the links below and you can figure out what works for you. I'll see you on the next episode of Laughing Through Life Show. Peace. Huh?